Hello there, this is Carla, and welcome to yet another exciting uh, video. So today I am going to take you through in detail um, Shuttle Pro uh, version 2, um, editing plate really. So this is going to be quite a fun video, quite in depth. So um, yeah, grab coffee, grab a biscuit, uh, whatever you need uh, or whatever you like when you're chilling out watching a YouTube video and let's do this. So, as you can uh, see, I've got two angles here. I've got the screen, um, and I've got the uh, Shuttle Pro uh, version 2 here. So, I can show you how this all works. So, um, yeah, let's do this. So, first of all, you're going to install, when you buy it, you install the drivers, and you install the software. Um, oh, let me come out of my uh, auto desk. Uh, when you install the software, you're going to get this little uh, icon here, where you can basically... Um, open up the control panel and you can basically customize the shuttle pro um how you see fit now it does come with some pre-installed um, applications for basically everything which is fantastic it comes literally pre-installed with the program keys for everything you can wish for uh, premiere pro so on and so on now obviously um this is uh operating system wise designed for mac and pc but when you download it for the PC, um, if you've got Windows 10, um, it will automatically um, give you the uh, application settings for the latest versions um, of certain programs. For instance, Adobe After Effects, it gives you CC, um, so on and so on. So we're going to uh, go down here. It's got, you know, Adobe Premiere Elements. Got You can even use it for iTunes. Um, you could use this tablet literally for everything. Um, Avid. Um, you know, Boris, Blackmagic, Fusion 7, um, you know, it should have down here DaVinci, it should have anyway, because uh, it does work on DaVinci, um, but all in, you can program um, this uh, uh, tablet um, or this control pad how you see basically fit. So, for instance, if I just go to a program that I never use, uh, Magic Video Pro X, for instance, I never use that. So you're looking at every time, if you look at my hands here, when I press a button, it changes automatically um, on the uh, screen or on the menu, shall I say. Um, and all these buttons are totally, totally customizable. So for instance, you know, if you wanted to program that for a specific shortcut, then you would come here and you get to list uh, function keys um, and you can basically, you know, set these keys in the order that you want to set them to. Okay, so for instance, if I wanted to uh, do a volume up with that, I could just select that to volume up. And then uh, when I press it, it will um, set it to a volume up, if that makes sense. Now let's get into the more um, uh, interesting stuff and show you how this uh, bad boy uh, actually works. So, I'm going to come out of this and I'm going to open up Premiere Pro. Um, let that go to there. Okay, so here I have my um, Premiere Pro. And with this uh, center button here, I can move this wheel around and it totally, if you look at the screen and my fingers, um, scrub through uh, the video so I can edit it as I see fit. You know, it's more neater um, and it's more precise than using a mouse. Um, or a cable, which is fantastic. Just on this outer rim here, we've got a, a full-blown uh, uh, shuttle, so we can go some serious fast forward. And this is elasticated, so it literally, when you go, it literally returns itself back to its uh, negative point. So you could just speed that up and get some really fine, smooth um, editing with that uh, shuttle, which is really, really awesome. And then you've got the play functions. If I press here, I can play. These are the functions that I've set up for uh, myself. I have programmed it, so um, it's the way I like to use it. So we've got, you know, back, forward, and then here I can go to the start or end point of the video, like you've just seen there. I can play it. And then I can uh, cut it there, for instance, play. 
cut, 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 and just edit um, really, really smoothly. Um, if I wanted to get rid of this, I can just um, uh, delete that bit there, bring it back, make it bigger. So I can shorten my timeline out with this. I can make my timeline longer to see what I'm doing. Um, I can go to this point here, um, cut there, so on and so on. So it is um, really, really cool. If I've got this program for my uh, sequence settings. So uh, I can, when, I, when I want the sequence settings, I can just basically select that. Now, don't get me wrong. This does not limit, it, limit you to um, not using the mouse ever or the keyboard. You're still going to use the mouse and you're still going to use the keyboard, but you're going to use them less, um, if that makes sense. You're going to lose the keyboard and the mouse a hell of a lot less. Uh, than you would do and this is such a productive workflow um, it's so much fun to use and it's so easy to use um, it's it's literally unbelievable this thing now I've not tried uh, program this with because I use Pre uh, Premiere Pro a lot this does work in After Effects as well um, I use it for After Effects but I want to use it for sort of color grading so if I go to my color grading panel here um, I can edit but what I want to do is program um, my editing, uh, my, my, my color grading facilities uh, to, to, to make that sort of a, a lot better uh, for when I'm color grading. So um, when you're in color grading mode, because it's not programmed, if I turn the shuttle, as you can see my fingers, it's not gonna move the video because it's not calibrated for that color grading set. So what I'd have to do is go into the settings panel and program the actual shuttle to work with this part um, of Premiere Pro, which is cool, cool, because it gives you options um, and you're sort of not limited. So when I go back to editing, um, uh, and then click on that, I can go back to my standard uh, scrubbing, cutting, so on, so on and so on. So let's go back to this. Um, and I've just literally set that by clicking on it to go back to uh, basically editing within the color section of uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. So it is absolutely insane the way this works. Now I'm gonna give you some more examples uh, of some other programs. So I'm just gonna quit out of um, Premiere Pro and let's open um, DaVinci. So when I open DaVinci and throw the same footage into DaVinci. Just open this very, very quickly. And I'll just show you how it works with that. You don't need to uh, change it every time or you don't need to do any settings every time um, you want to use this. It's already preset. So I'm just going to uh, just import some footage uh, very quickly. Uh, wherever I put it. Just to, right, there it is. Right, so I'm gonna add that to my media pool, and then I'm gonna go to my editing and just drop that down. Right, so as you can see, this is now in Premiere Pro, and I just want to shut my audios off so we don't get our audio. And as you can see, as I scrub through, automatically it is working with DaVinci straight away. No editing, no messing around. Um, it's going to do the same functions as it did with Premiere Pro, so start, end. Because most video editing programs have got the same sort of uh, template, if that makes sense. They've got the same sort of functions. So um, any video editing program you jump from, say you jump from uh, Premiere Pro to DaVinci, you, you're going to know straight away that this is going to basically work at the back, if that makes sense. So I can just insert um, a cut there. And as I go, I can insert a cut there, I can insert a cut there, I can insert a cut there, uh, play stop. And then I can uh, undo it, like so. And um, yeah, it's just really, really cool. So let's um, go over to uh, After Effects. Uh, let's not save that. And I'll show you how it works with After Effects. Remember guys, all these keys are programmable, okay? You can program this thing to do exactly what you want it to do, or the commands. Anything with a shortcut, that
that's in uh, the Adobe Suite, um, Da Vinci, Nuke, um, any of these programs, if they've got a shortcut, you can put it into this Shuttle Pro 2 to make your life a lot more easier. And I'll be honest with you, I thought I wouldn't be able to uh, get used to this thing. I really did. And I was using it as soon as I put it on my desk, straight away. Now, as you can see, I'm using my left hand and I'm right handed. And I can use this with my left hand, absolutely no problems at all. It's that, that comfortable. And it's so thin uh, when it sits on a desk and flat, it's, it's absolutely insanely cool. So I'm just gonna open up my four million um, trillion uh, plugins. And then I'm just gonna drop a video in a second into uh, After Effects. Uh, once this decides to load. So let's just go new comp. Do let's go and import that same piece of footage, uh, wherever it is. This one, let's drop that into new comp. Let's do right, so play. Now this is a little bit more different, okay, in uh, Premiere Pro. I oh, saw in After Effects because obviously you've got to have to render this out. Okay, this has all got to be rendered out. Let's just go on to the end now. Um, but the the concept of you know next back forward to the end, stop play. You can see it's just played there, right? is exactly the same as Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. So you can, like I said, you can modify all this. So if I just stop that there, I can now scrub through my video um, in uh, After Effects. Now, this is brilliant for um, visual effects, um, but it's more geared up for video editing, even though this thing can literally do anything you program it to do, uh, apart from making a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or a sandwich, which is, I could take that, I could take that, it's, it's not a problem. Um, but yeah, you can, um, you know, program these, because the, the the sequencing and the programming in Adobe After Effects is a lot more um, intuitive than um, Premiere Pro, because you've got, you know, split layers, stuff like that. In uh, vid uh, Premiere Pro or video editing software, you've got cut, you've got edit, so on and so on. This is uh, more intuitive, but it's designed for at the end of the day, uh, video editing. So, not saying you can't use it on uh, Premiere Pro. Now, the uh, shuttle here around the rim is got a tension to it, okay? So when you move it a little bit, yeah, it goes a little bit. And as you get harder, you have to hold it in position because if you let go, it, re it returns back to its original space, yeah? So the harder I bring it, the faster, the video will move yeah it's as simple as that it's as simple as that now this one in the middle um, is more for sort of delicate getting to like a next frame so you'll get this your finger there and you'll just push it up next frame next frame next frame which is fantastic for keyframing by it uh, by the way this is a keyframing dream because you'll get your mouse over this side and you'll just push up frame by frame by frame by frame and just move your uh, mask around or whatever if you're keyframing a mask so on and so on so yeah guys that is a look at the shuttle pro version 2 i hope you have um, enjoyed this video if you have a like rating it's always appreciated guys always appreciated and if you're not subscribed why not guys hit that subscribe button um i've always got some really cool videos on this channel for you to uh watch and like i just said uh, I definitely will definitely catch you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.